Hey, welcome back. Uh, start of a new week. Uh, been a bit light on for content uh, of late, but yeah, anyway, hopefully uh, it's a bit boring uh, just the clean up and tidy up jobs and a bit of plumbing jobs and that that we're doing, so uh, yeah, haven't bothered filming a hell of a lot. Uh, five mil rain Saturday, uh, which was good, and yeah, pretty cold, now, going to be a pretty cold week. Uh, frost, we've got frost forecast for for most mornings, there was a light one this morning, uh, but yeah, generally when you get a frost, you get a nice day, and then I think we've got more rain forecasting in for the rest of later in the week, um, which will be good. Uh, got one man down with the flu, um, Tony, I'm just going out to meet him now, he's out where we're spraying some pasture out that we're going to bring back into crop next year. Uh, so yeah, we're just doing the. He's just doing the knockdown spray on it now, and then we're going to put some insecticide across some loosen uh, while we've got the boom spray at the other farm here. Oh, there's a couple of jobs to do out here. We're still waiting. We're waiting on a bit of chemical uh, as well. Um, we've got some wild oats to spray in the barley, and then the new block. Uh, we're just waiting on some chemical to spray it to take out some. Uh, ryegrass. So, but so yeah, I'm just taking the. He took a load, load of chemical from home out, and I'm just running the pump out. Um, and he's got the chemical with him um, to do this, this bug spray. Uh, and so I've got the, I've got the dish lickers with me. I'm going to shift. He's got a spray where the sheep are uh, with insecticide. So obviously, so there's a withholding period um, once you spray. So I'm going to, I'm going to move the ewes down into another paddock. We've also these ewes, uh, ones of the older ewes that we drafted out the other day, so I'll, I'll get, be good to get them back close to the yards anyway because we'll be able to load them, need them, need them there to, to load um, next weekend to go to market. So uh, I've just been poked around doing a, bit, a couple of clean up jobs around the sheds and that this morning. Uh, I've got the windrower there, um, which I'll show you when I get back what I'm doing with it. Uh, we're just a mechanic came and looked over it the other day just to do this pre-season we'll get looking at this pre-season service and what jobs need doing um, we've got an oil leak between a couple of the uh, pumps um, under, up under the floor off the they come off the motor so we're just gonna what he wants me to do is clean the oil up uh, and then chuck the front on and we'll run it um, just let it stand and run for an hour uh, and I'll just run it at idle, but uh, yeah, just let everything get hot um, and just see where we see if we can get a bit of an idea of where the where the oil's coming from. So yeah, there's that job, and I'm going to yeah need to get the air seater back in the shed. So there's a bit of gear there that just needed to put clean it up and put it back in the shed, which I've sort of been doing. But yeah, we're gonna I've got a job I'm gonna attack on the air seater cart, so we'll, we'll, we'll look at that and got a surveyor in, um, got a guy surveying the new block. Um, he started on Sunday. So yeah, been talking to him this morning. He was on his way back. He's um, been getting on all right. Uh, yeah, so, but no, other than that, we're uh, tick along enjoying the weather. It is quite bloody cold. Uh, the wind's cold. It does, it's telling me it's 13 degrees on the ute, but it, it feels like it's about eight. Uh, those of you in Australia, it's been a pretty cold weekend. I think the weather, We've had snow down to 600 metres, which is yeah, cold enough. So, anyway, we'll go out here and drop this pump off and, and yeah, get those, see how Tony's getting on and get those sheep shifted. Just show you, and I don't know, I won't be able to probably see it, but you can see, you'll get the phone ringing. Um, I'll ring you back. Uh, you can just see how the leaves there and the loosen are starting to go white. So, the camera probably won't pick them up, but. Um, they're a red-legged earth mite, what we call a red-legged earth mite. You can see it sort of, this sort of sucked the life out of that one a bit. Um, but yeah, the loosen will slowly go white and any of this new clover and that that's coming, they'll be getting stuck into it. So uh, they look like, <coughs> essentially just look like a, uh, a spider with red legs, but really, really small. So um, yeah, and they just, see here, it's sort of curled up and um, yeah, so basically sucks the life out of the plant. Doesn't kill it, but doesn't do it much good. So uh, yeah, we're we'll just a insecticide here that we'll we'll chuck on it, and um, and yeah, hopefully that'll that'll uh, fix them up. Uh, it's cold. Um, 
but yeah this this 100 hectare paddock we split it into three a couple of years ago so um, we're just going to bring in um, one third of it and yeah it'll probably be wheat wheat next year is the plan at this stage so um, yeah we'll just, we'll just sort of pick Picked the block that had the least amount of loosen in it um, and a few other weeds that need cleaning up so we'll do a knockdown spray on it now and then whether we we will cultivate it at some stage and the paddocks get um, they get rough after a period of time so we'll cultivate it at some stage and get it get it leveled off and probably bang a bit of um, lime or gypsum on it uh, we'll get the soil test done and just see what they need whether it needs doing, needs lime or gypo, but um, yeah, it's a good time to sort of apply your lime for your pH, um, yeah, just out of the pasture phase. So we'll just see what they say. But anyway, we'll get these get these sheep moved. But if you're out of the wind, it's actually a really nice day. But yeah, it's uh, winds like ice at the moment. Anyway, oh, I've got sheep shifted. Uh, I just had the nose bag on and had some lunch. So what we've got is, just got it here on the wash pad. So we've got an oil, not too sure where it is, but Chris, me Macdon mechanic, he suspects the there's a seal in between the two pumps, uh, maybe leaking. So what he wants me to do is obviously clean it up, <clears throat> and then we'll uh, we'll put the front on, and uh, yeah, just. I'll probably just run it at idle, but yeah, run run it for an hour, something like that, get it nice and warm, and we'll just try and work out where the oil's coming from, whether it is that seal in there. He has been doing a bit of homework. He, he's got another machine that's doing the same thing. Uh, so he's uh, it's apparently leaking a lot worse, but the biggest issue is <clears throat> we've got a bit of, we do have a bit more than our usual sort of contracting. Um, acres to do this year so um, you know if this went down in the middle of windrowing it'd be the end of the windrowing season so hello dog how are you uh so yeah i sort of want to get it done get it sorted now uh generally the machine itself is pretty good there's not not heaps to do on it just general stuff uh we do we did about 150 hours for last season uh, so we'll uh that's different all change and we'll do filters and all that sort of stuff again. Um, what's happened there? Something's hit it. Um, yeah, so, but I'll just, uh, I'll get a bit of brake cleaner and give it a wash and then I'll, with the brake cleaner and then I'll hopefully can, we're out of water in this big tank, but hopefully there's been a bit of rain we've had, we've got enough back in it. Um, yeah, we can get the pressure washer going. I'll put the fancy soap on it and uh, yeah, we can, Give it a wash and then I've got to, we had the, got to put the quick coupler back on uh, the windrow front. We've robbed it um, to put it on that little front we had used for the rice. So i um, got to swap, swap it back over and yeah, never a five minute job, but uh, well, it's, yeah. It'll take me an hour to get the front organised probably. So I'll, um, yeah, do all that. So anyway, but yeah, while well, it's, I'm just going to stand it in the yard here and have it running and um, I can just, I've just got a few little jobs to do around the shed here while it's, um, while it's going, so I'll just keep an eye on it and make sure nothing uh, comes astray. So anyway, we'll see how we go. Uh, so this is the multi-coupler, quick coupler we use for the header. Uh, you probably have seen it before, but um, yeah, so we robbed that off the windrow. All the fronts have got one. Uh, yeah, which I already started putting it off before I thought, oh, I better tell you what I'm doing. So yeah, just got one more hose there and then we'll yeah, take it over and swap it back onto the the other front and then we can hook the wind dryer up. Uh, gave the tractor a good wash underneath so we'll just see what happens. One thing I didn't think of and we'll see how we go and apologies if it's a bit windy. Uh, the seats, it's got a dead man switch on the seat so I might have to get a brick or something heavy to sit on the seat so the front will run while I'm not sitting in the cab. So not ideal, not uh, work safe but yeah. Here I'm own, so there's no one else getting around, so we'll uh, yeah, just see how that one works out. But I'll probably, I've got it on the trailer here, so I'll, <coughs> well, the front's still, yeah, pulled it out of the shed, so I'll just uh, just do it here on the trailer. I'll just lift it up a little bit and, uh, yeah, it won't drive it around in the yard, so I just need to be careful because the vertical, the 
vertical knives will be running or the rotor shears or one will be anyway because we had a leaking this one's the same it needs fixing it's got a leaking the crooks the eel so it's another job before wind rowing but yeah that'll be spinning so just need to be careful of that um, but yeah i'll lift it up and just back it back so it's over the trailer so you're not going to walk into it but um yeah and just let it let it run just idle for but probably doesn't need to be an hour half an hour would be plenty probably just to get the oil temps up and hopefully that seal might well hopefully it's not the seal that's leaking um because yeah it'll be a reasonably major job to to split those pumps hopefully it's a hose or something like that but anyway get this thing on and we'll see how we go So time's got away, it's probably been running an hour, but anyway, let's just shut it down. Uh, so, it doesn't actually look like it's leaking. We do have a bit around that, a uh, bit of a tricky one, because there's a little bit around that hose there, but between the pumps itself looks, looks okay, so... I'm hoping that we might not have to do anything. Um, yeah, so basically it's just, there's not much to a windrug tractor. It's <laughs> Cummins engine and it's got uh, bell housing with uh, yeah, a couple of hydraulic pumps um, hooked to it. So, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of oil here as well, but it's definitely not, there's definitely a lot of leak. We thought the leak might have been between, oh, I can't see. Did you get the camera in the right spot? We thought the leak might have been here between those two, but I think we might just have, by the looks of that, there's a little bit of oil there. We might just have a few fittings weeping perhaps. So, yeah, look, I don't think it's as serious as what we thought it could have been. So, uh, yeah, when I win a chicken dinner, that's even better. Uh, yeah, anyway, we might, uh, I'll drop this front back off and, yeah, the track can go back in the shed, but yeah, I'll give the, give Chris the mechanic a ring and just let him, let him know we're sort of pretty, pretty safe, I think. Um, but yeah, it's been sitting here an hour. Hello, Jessica. Yeah, it's been sitting here running for probably an hour. I just, yeah, screwed the back wall in that shed, so that took a bit longer than what I thought it might have. So, uh, yeah, problem solved, but that's an easy fix. Morning. Uh, minus two frost this morning, <laughs> so we might, uh, it's going to be a nice day, but we might let things defrost a little bit before we uh, get too carried away. Uh, none of the boys are here yet. I think Brendan still might be sick, and I did say to Tony, if it's frosty, don't rush out. So I'll wait until things unfreeze a bit. But yeah, it won't be long. The hour or so on the frost will be gone, and we'll uh, yeah, get into it. Frost is all gone and it is glorious. So what we're gonna do is I've got the fire unit here. Uh, yeah, just gonna wash all this stuff off. Um, we had a couple of fertilizer hose leaking at some point, different points in time. So yeah, that sort of stuff just gets a bit crazy after a while. So we'll give that a wash off. Uh, yeah, there's plenty of, plenty of gunk in that in here. Um, and then again, the cart, the bin, we'll give it a good wash too. Um, yeah mud here and that sort of stuff and then um, probably give it i'm going to split the cart so what we're going to do uh which you will get to see um we'll split the cart off the off the bar if i can get it out uh we're actually going to change this front steering arrangement um to a caster setup so uh we're just well a couple of different reasons um 
with the rice and the irrigation and that sort of stuff, we can't, we can, we're a bit limited on how sharp we can turn. So we've actually got to do a skip row all the time. We can't actually turn in ourselves. And, you know, if we sowed a row, this row, we can't turn around and sow the next row. So what we're going to do is, is fix this front axle. It'll be completely new, different front axle. Um, we'll cut the stubs off um, and we're going to put casters in. Um, so essentially when I say a caster, Oh, I haven't actually got anything that's got one on it, but that wheel, that front axle will be fixed at the moment. It pivots here. We've got that, that ball in there. Um, so that front axle will be fixed and it, it'll swivel. Both wheel side wheels will swivel independently. So um, we've got a mate that he's actually uh, was goes corn as well and was getting a contractor in and the contractor's actually stopped um, contract sowing now um so he's gone and bought himself an, his own planter but um he's not going to have time he's got a a big air settle cart like this but he's got to change the planter um yeah so what he basically what he wants to do is um get a loan of our cart so which which is fine um in turn we'll be able to use his corn planter so uh yeah so we're gonna that's not the only reason we're going to change this. I've been looking at it for quite a long time. Um, yeah, just the smaller paddocks we battle with turning and that sort of stuff. We've got to big do do big loops and you do waste a lot of time. Um, so yeah, so that's sort of once we get this washed and cleaned up, um, yeah, we'll split it up and uh, yeah, we'll get the card in the workshop and. Yeah, start and take the oxy torch to it. I haven't actually, I need to change all these hoses and that. If you've been a long time watching, you'll know and we've had trouble with these hoses getting caught up. So, uh, this sort of, this these pipes here don't, it doesn't actually need to do that. Um, so yeah, I'm essentially gonna, gonna cut this off here and we'll, yeah, put a pivot in and, uh, yeah, so that we, you'll get a bit of workshop porn, which we haven't had for a while, so which will be good. Um, but yeah, just, with the way where we are at with everything else, um, with the cropping program and how up to date things are. Um, yeah, oh, it's gonna allow me to have a bit of time in the workshop, which will be good. So um, anyway, we'll uh, get this pump fired up and get a bit of water splashing around. Hopefully we've got the bulk of the mud off it. Uh, so yeah, just now unhooking it from the cart. I've done the hydraulic hoses and the electric side of it. I'm just gonna get some zip ties. I've got some colored zip ties there. So I'm just gonna, um, just so we know where what hoses go back where when we hook it back up again. So um, again, it'll, it'll be right, but I'll probably put the ones here right back um, near, the, near the box because all that's gonna change, so. Um, yeah, anyway, it's, uh, we've got the pin out, so I might go over, I'll bring the tractor back and, uh, yeah, fill this up again for next time. But, um, yeah, and then I'll, it's a fair bit of wire and that sort of stuff hooked up from when, uh, Tony sowed the oats while we are away. So there's, yeah, a few, 
bits of wire and that that need fishing out but um there's a bit of work needs doing on this too so we're gonna gonna probably get into it now uh the next job will be sort of rice sowing um so we've got those these rams at the front here are leaking seals um we're gonna pull these all the times we've got hydraulic breakouts so we're gonna pull one off i've got one there that's leaking um but yeah we reckon there's um whether the the piston seals bypassing um and we're losing losing pressure uh which one that one there he's uh he's obviously he's leaking somewhere so we'll pull him off as well but yeah we'll get a few kits um you know look at wire wire for days i don't even know what that is um yeah so anyway we'll go through and pull all the wire off it and um i'll chuck a bit of take it over and chuck a bit of fancy soap on it uh, and just yeah let it sort of sink in a bit and but uh yeah it's amazing how uh amazing how much wire you pick you pick up on blocks like that that uh yeah you haven't uh yeah if they haven't been haven't been plowed up or had a cultivator through them for a while so there is there is a bit hanging off it so we'll, yeah we'll go through and clean it up but yeah gonna gonna i'm looking at changing these tine assemblies um i did mention they need um we need to rebush it um now there is an aftermarket there's a company now making an aftermarket parallelogram setup so essentially all that would come off um and then their new one just bolts on different press wheel different uh sewing tube assembly so i just need to price it up because i don't know how expensive it'll be but yeah it's look this it'll be the third time we've rebushed this thing um and you know it's done about i was just trying to work it out i reckon it's done about twelve thousand hectares uh roughly maybe a bit more um yeah we've had it for 12 years so uh and it was one it was 12 months old when we bought it so um but yeah we've been doing around that 1200 hectares a year so um yeah so i'm just trying to work out what it's done but yeah this will be the this will be the yeah, the third time, as I said, that we've had to rebush it. So, I mean, it is doing, it is doing a fair bit of work, but it's such a, such a crap job to to have to rebush it. Um, so, anyway, we'll just say we'll price it up and see what it's gonna, what it's gonna come out like, and might find that the most cost-effective answer is to just rebush it. So, anyway, we'll uh, we'll grab the other tractor, grab the big tractor, and and um, yeah, get it hooked up.
So yeah, just got coloured coloured zip ties and I'll do the other end. I'm a bit short so I've just doubled up on a couple of hoses. So pretty simple. Um yeah, and then we can split the cam locks and and uh yeah it's ready to come apart. Washing fancy soap. Soak for a little bit, then we'll uh wash it off. You like a new one. Oh no, day's about done. Uh, yeah, video is about the same. So, yeah, so it's back in the shed <coughs> again. So we'll yeah start and chip away and do a few jobs on it and pull a few of these hydraulic rams off and pull them apart. We have had a bit of a picture of them, a bit of idea of it there. So it's only a case of knocking off, taking the pressure off the tines. So it's only a case of knocking that pin out. And there's a couple of four bolts there and that and undo the hose and that whole thing will come off. So. Uh, not too sure. I think it actually splits. I come unscrewed there from memory. So, so yeah, we'll get one of them off and and uh, try and get some seals for it. Whether we do these ones now, they're not a big deal. They don't actually creep. They just sort of sweat um, for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, we just need to work out what we're going to do. Whether we get to and and do these things or yeah, I'll just. Just need to price it all up and see what the best, what the best idea, well, sort of, you know, what the most cost cost effective way to go is with it. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, gonna get the, I'll get the air, air card. I'm actually gonna duck up to Auburn in the morning. Um, we've got I had to get a new oh, inside door panel for the truck, for the driver's side door of the truck because we can't actually, the handle was busted on it, so. So it's, I ordered it last week, so it's turned up, so I'm gonna fly up there in the morning and grab it. Um, so yeah, then I can, we can put the door on the truck back together. Uh, so just a few jobs like that at the moment, jobs that have been needed to be done and we've sort of got the opportunity to do them. So, uh, but yeah, plan is I'll get this air cart in and we'll get a bit of a plan in place for it. I need to get a bit of steel ordered. Um, there's gonna be a bit of machining and that to be done, bushes and that machined up, so. Uh, yeah, that should be that'll be pretty cool, something for you to see. But it's just that time of year, and we probably haven't had a a bit of a lull like this for a while, um, where we can catch up on those jobs, and you know we could probably start and service the Winra, um, change oils in it, and um, I'm going to all got, got a parts list there. Mechanics been to look at the header, so I got a parts list there. Oh, yeah, there's the door, inside door panel. So it's it had cracked out up in here. Um, yeah, so you couldn't actually open, open the door, so I've got a new one of them, and <coughs> the freight line of trucks, are, I don't know, the plastic in them's a bit funny, but the the rough roads, it just all cracks and falls to bits after all, so anyway. Um, yeah, so Header, our mechanic's been, he was here while we were away, um, so he's, we get some parts for it and start and work on it, it's not heaps to do with it, there's a probably a fair bit we can do ourselves. I uh, bought a new pressure pump today to go for around on the wash pad for the uh, pressure washer. So just a little fella, it doesn't need to pump a lot of water, but yeah, we're having having issues keeping the water up to the pressure washer. So that'll fix that one. So yeah, so there's still there's still plenty going on. Um, yeah, it's just just bits and pieces. So anyway, thanks again for watching. We'll uh, yeah, see you on the next one. Bye bye.